thank you for purchasing Enbody 370. This video will demonstrate the installation of Enbody 370, taking measurements, reading the Enbody result sheet, and installing Look Enbody 110. Step 1. Enbody installation. Opening the box. Using a knife or box cutter, carefully cut the box to open. Do not install Enbody 370 on carpet. Static electricity may cause serious damage to the electronic components. Lift the Enbody 370 up into a standing position. Tighten the screws fixing the upper part with a hexagonal wrench. Check the balance of the in-body with the built-in bubble level located in the top left of the foot plate. To adjust the leveling, twist the foot supporters to lower or raise each corner of the base. Make sure the power cable is firmly plugged into the adapter. Connect the power cable into the rear panel of the in-body 370. Also, Connect the printer cable and to the rear panel of the Enbody 370. Turn the printer on. Now, turn the Enbody 370 on. Do not stand on or apply pressure to the base of the Enbody when it is starting up. Applying any weight or pressure to the base may result in inaccurate measurements. It will take about 2 minutes. Step 2, Inbody Measurement. Anyone who is using a pacemaker or other electronic device is prohibited from taking measurements. The Inbody tissue has two functions. To enhance electrical conductivity and provide antibacterial properties. If the measurement is not possible due to the calluses on the palm or sole, wipe the palm and sole using Inbody tissues before the measurement. Clean the Enbody 370 using Enbody tissues only. Other liquid cleaners may cause corrosion. Stand on the base with bare feet, and make sure both heels are touching the smaller foot electrodes. Your weight will automatically be measured. Please. Do not hold the hand electrodes while your weight is being measured. Input your ID, height, age, and gender then press the enter button. Hold the hand electrodes and straighten your arms away from the body. This should be the proper posture. Keep both arms straight. Hold your arms away from the body. Do not let bare ties touch each other. Do not talk or move during the measurements. The measurement will now begin. It takes about one minute. You can view the results in real time on the LCD screen during your measurement. When completed, the result sheet should print out automatically. Step 3. Printer Setup. Result Sheet Alignment If the printing location is not properly positioned, adjust the alignment. 
Press setup. Printer. And then result sheet alignment. Adjust the coordinates using the directional keys. After making an adjustment, press enter for saving. Then, go to test print to check if the alignment was corrected. Result sheet type. To modify the result sheet type, go to setup and then press the result sheet type and result sheet option. There are two modes. Printed. And, built in. Select, printed, to use the result sheets provided by Biospace. Then, press enter for saving. If you would like to use plain A4 paper, select built-in mode. Pediatric mode. Press the result sheet type and result sheet option. And then result sheet for child. Choose enable for the pediatric mode. Press enter for saving. Step 4. Result Interpretation. The InBody 370 provides a full page of results. This is not only used for consulting but also a great marketing tool for your business. Let's take a closer look at what the result sheet tells you. Impedance. Check to see if the impedance value decreases as the frequencies increase. If the impedance values do not decrease, this means that the measurement was not taken correctly. Please take the measurement again. Body composition analysis total body water is the sum of intracellular water and extracellular water. Soft lean mass is the sum of total body water, protein and mineral. Bone mineral is not included. Fat free mass is the sum of total body water, protein and mineral. The weight is the sum of body fat mass and fat free mass. Compare your values to the normal range displayed on the right to determine whether the individual's body composition is in the normal range. Muscle fat analysis. Each number next to the bar graph shows values, and the length of the bar graph represents the percent of the ideal value in his or her height. 100% means the most ideal value in his or her height. Obesity Diagnosis Body Mass Index shows surface obesity level. The classification varies with age, gender and researchers. InBody uses stats from the WHO. Percent Body Fat is the percentage of body fat to body weight. The normal range of percent body fat is 10 to 20 percent for male and 18 to 28 percent for female. Waist to hip ratio is calculated based on the circumference of the waist divided by the circumference of the hip. Men and women found to have a WHR of 0.90 and 0.85 are considered to suffer from abdominal obesity. Segmental lean. Segmental lean shows the evaluation and amount of soft lean mass in each part of the body. Segmental fat. Segmental fat shows the percent body fat, fat mass and evaluation in each part of the body. Weight control. Fat control is the amount of fat that needs to be lost or gained compared to the ideal fat mass. Muscle control is the amount of muscle that needs to be gained compared to the ideal muscle mass. Based on these information, you get the weight control, the sum of fat control and muscle control. Fitness score. Fitness score is an index used to help the examinee easily understand the state of his or her body composition. The score increases when the examinee's body fat mass is close to the standard range.
and their muscle mass is a lot. The normal range of fitness score is 70 to 90 points. Basal Metabolic Rate Basal metabolic rate is the number of calories your body burns at rest during every 24-hour period. It increases as you add muscle mass and decreases when muscle is lost. 